What's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a little tutorial on three things. One is uh, DX Tori. That's what I use to cut my gameplay. So I'm going to do just a very basic tutorial on that. Two is just a webcam uh, cap and kind of more specifically for face cam and videos. And then three, I'm going to be going over uh, Sony Vegas on how to sync up webcam with gameplay and your commentary and maybe some basic editing techniques and stuff like that. But uh, in the description are going to be timestamps. So if you already know how to use DxTory, you can skip to the webcam. And if you know how to do the webcam, you can skip to DxTory, so on and so forth. So check the timestamps below if you are just at this video for one specific thing. But anyway, um, I'm going to get set up and we'll start. Alrighty guys, now I'm in DX Tori and I'm gonna go over these tabs right here, just uh, quick and fast. So, uh, ignore tabs. You shouldn't have to really worry about this tab unless you're doing live stream through OBS or something like that. So, don't worry about that first one. Second one is, I usually leave this as default. You'll see in a second, or I can pull Call of Duty. You can see this little number up here. This basically just, uh, this you can change the color of your, your uh, FPS counter and the different color of whether or not you're recording here, so. Um, pretty basic, I just leave that on default. Folders, uh, this is gonna be where you're recording to. This is fairly important to have a fast enough drive. Um, I have a hard drive that's specifically just for video editing, so um, that's this one. I also, I created a little test folder here, so what you would do if you don't have a drive set up yet, um, you would go in and uh, create a new folder. You have to test this, oops, sorry, you have to uh, test the speed of it so you can, uh, DxTory knows how fast it can write to that drive. Um, that's my SSD, that's why that's so fast. But normally I just use this uh, this normal hard drive. So that'll be my gameplay drive. And then here's a hotkey uh, menu. I just use the screenshot one and then the, the movie capture. Just find two keys on your keyboard that you don't use very often and use those. Um, here's a few things on this tab. This is all your video settings. Uh, Lagarith Lothless Codec, uh, link in the description. Download that, reopen DxTory, and it should be up here. Highly recommend it. Uh, most YouTubers out there use this as well. And in the options, I use YV12 mode and multi-threading. Um, 30 FPS, unless you're doing slow-mo stuff, you can put it on 60. It's gonna be, you're gonna need a really fast hard drive to do something like 1080p at 60 FPS, so. I just leave it on 30. Um, I record a 1920 by 1080. Uh, my opinion, that's that's uh, what you should be recording at nowadays. You can do 720, but um, if anything, I'll downscale it in Vegas if it's not like a very important video or if it's just like a very basic gameplay. But for the battlefield stuff I do, I like to record in 1080p, and uh, that game deserves to look good, so I like to keep it in a higher resolution. Um, as far as audio tab goes, this is kind of important if you're doing commentary stuff and syncing webcam. Uh, the first tab is my game sound. So this is my sound card, this inbox too. So that's my output, my game sound, uh, everything like that. The second tab is my microphone. So there's an input on my sound card as well. And uh, that's this mic right here. So the nice thing about DxTory is it splits up uh, gameplay audio and my microphone audio so I can have control of that within Vegas and it will record it on two separate tracks. So super handy there. Um, I use 4816, uh, find a, find a bit rate and stuff that works for you. Uh, that's just what I use. And you can add more tracks, uh, depending on what you have. I have like a virtual audio cable. If you want to record Skype stuff, uh, that's a whole nother tutorial though. So I'm just going to do the basics for now. Um, this is a screenshot tab, not that important. Uh, processor, I use four threads. Oops, four threads because I have a quad core. Um, that's just check for updates and my license. It's a legit copy. I re highly recommend you buy it and support these guys. They make great software and it's only like $30. So that's about it for DxTory. And in the next bit, I'm going to go into the webcam software. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to go over Microsoft LifeCam real quick. Um, I just use this software mainly because it's not very demanding and it came with my webcam. Any generic webcam software out there will work for basic gameplay face cam stuff. I do use OBS for like my uh, computer build video I did. I use OBS just because it records in 1080p, but it's a little bit more demanding and uh, 
life cam uh, isn't very demanding and we're not recording at a very high re resolution for face cam stuff. As you can see, I'm only recording an 800 by 448 and that really is more than enough to be honest. So no reason to make a huge file when you're gonna have a video that's this big. So I would say make your gameplay the best quality in your face cam uh, doesn't need to be that great. So when, like I was saying, when it's this big, you don't need to have a, a massive amount of pixels in there. It's gonna look fine. Um, settings that I use in here, if you're using this software uh, specifically, um, I have the Microsoft LifeCam Studio uh, webcam. I do record the audio um, from the webcam. It's very important to sync up later in Vegas. So uh, always make sure your webcam software is recording your voice and then DX Tori is also recording your voice. Um, we're gonna do kind of a movie clapboard thing and that will be how we sync them up in Vegas later, but I'll get to that in a second. Uh, resolution, like I said, 800 by 448. I use True Color on because if I don't have it on, it gets choppy. Not entirely sure why it does that. Um, probably more research on my part needs to be done, but here are my video settings. These are gonna be different for everybody, but uh, you can just pause on those tabs if you wanna see them. Uh, nothing else there. Oh, and if you want to do um, anything stupid like this, you can do it through uh, LifeCam software. So um, it's a really simple software, not very demanding, uh, really easy. Actually, I think, let me see here. I think you can record webcam and Movie Maker as well. Um, it's not going to let me right now, but because I have it open elsewhere, but you can record it in Movie Maker as well if you don't have the software. So there's a couple basic options to do webcam stuff. But um, next little bit, I'm going to be going into an actual game and showing you how to uh, get ready for your recording and have everything uh, properly done to be able to sync it up in Vegas. So I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, now I'm in uh, Call of Duty real quick. Um, sorry I had to run this in window mode for the uh, my screen capture software to pick it up. So. I apologize for that, but for this tutorial, it's not that big of a deal. Um, so let's say I'm got my game started. Um, now I have, I just alt tab there so I can get to my software. Um, I have DX Tori open, it's running, and I have Microsoft Live Cam uh, running. So first thing I'll do is start capturing uh, video and Live Cam. So my webcam software is going. Now my gameplay, you can still see it's going to get laggy just because. Uh, I'm recording two 1080p videos and a webcam at the same time. So um, I'm gonna hit F9 in Call of Duty. You can see uh, that DX Tori is starting to record right now. So I have my gameplay is starting to record, my webcam is recording. And now to sync it up, I'll just do a three, two, one, And that's like a movie clapboard. How they have you seen that before? So um, that's just the basics for syncing up. I just use audio cues. So this could be blah 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 blah. I'm sure this looks horrible, but uh, gameplay, gameplay, gameplay. This isn't what yours is going to look like. So okay, I'm done with my gameplay. I'm going to hit F9 to stop DX Tori. I'm going to go to my webcam software and hit stop there. So we're all good on that front, and now I can close Life Cam because I'm not using that anymore. I can close DX Tori because we're done there, and I can close my game. So uh, the next thing we'll be doing is going into Vegas, and I'll show you how to sync everything up. Alrighty, guys, now we're in Sony Vegas, and uh, I've got my clips in here. You can see I have my webcam, my webcam mic. DX Tori video, gameplay, that's the DX Tori audio, and then my microphone audio that I'm talking into right now. Um, I just set them up like this. Yours won't necessarily look like this uh, when you load it in, but um, I'm just gonna go over how to sync it real quick. So uh, first thing, DX Tori uh, on my computer, I'm not sure if this does it for everybody. It likes to record uh, mono or just one side of a stereo track. So you can just go right click, go to channels and hit combined in Vegas and that will get you a mono track. Um, for syncing purposes, I'm gonna use, move this webcam mic down, excuse me. Um, and now we can kind of visually see, okay, my webcam software, that's why I was clapping. And then you can see these two peaks in my my uh, DX Tori recording. Um, so I can move them close to each other. I can uh, get the, the waves, the sine waves uh, close to each other as well. 
And the reason I did two is just so I can look at both of them and make sure they're both synced. So now I have my uh, webcam audio, which doesn't sound very good. And then I have my microphone audio, which is nice and clean. So what I'll do is just mute my webcam audio. Since we're done with this, we've used it to sync everything up. And now it's working. Now I'm going to do a little clapboard thing like three. You can see my webcam is synced up with my nice microphone. So now that we have all this, I'm going to hit D twice on the keyboard. It's going to give me this lasso tool. I'm going to select everything and then hit G and that's going to group all of these tracks together. So when I move them, nothing's going to come out of sync again. So that's just a little easy Vegas tutorial bit. So um, now I can move this to the front. I'll hit W that goes to the front of Vegas. Um, I can cut out these claps since we're all synced up now. And then, so that's what we'll use. There we go. So that's where the start of my video would be. Um, now for the next little bit is how to actually uh, make the webcam a usable size and um, move it around the screen. So on your webcam track, you're going to go to this little uh, tab right here, track motion, and we're going to change the size. I like to start with uh, 640 by 360. And you can change it if you don't like the width. I could go like uh, 550 or something like that. Um, it is gonna mess with your resolution, so just keep that in mind. But this is usually what I do for default. And then you can see um, if I go down here, the grid spacing, I think by default, this might be something lower like 10. Uh, just turn that up to 40. This is gonna give you a finer adjustment when you go to move your webcam. So in this little square over here, you can see I can move the my webcam to whatever corner I want and uh, it's all synced up with the gameplay so now when I go to the beginning of the video so that's what we'll use in Vegas later to sync it up uh, blah 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 gameplay 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 you go on recording how you normally would uh, it's not gonna be this laggy like I said my computers so that has everything oh and here's also my uh, my gameplay audio that was muted so now I have inv individual control of my microphone. I can turn that up later to sync it up. Uh, blah, 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 gameplay, gameplay, gameplay. So I can keep my voice above the uh, the sound of the gameplay at all times. And then maybe uh, I want to change the color. I didn't get it quite right in my webcam software. So I might go in and uh, add some brightness and contrast here. I might do the same thing for my gameplay. Maybe add a little more contrast. Um, I usually don't do too much color correction stuff on my videos. Um, I actually did get a new monitor recently, and uh, the colors are quite a bit different from my other ones, so I like to test it between the two and uh, get something in the middle so it's not too dark and, or too bright. So just keep that in mind when you're editing your own videos that uh, not everybody's monitors have the same brightness and everything like that. So um, maybe try to test it on a different monitor if you can or a different computer if possible. So. Um, that's about it for Vegas uh, audio. Um, I might go in here. I never use a noise gate. EQ. This microphone sounds pretty good, so I don't need an EQ. But um, if you do need uh, something for your microphone in particular, if it's uh, just the basics uh, of audio, <laughs> since I do uh, audio engineering uh, in real life, but um, the most basic tips I can give you in EQ is this range right here is going to be low muddy stuff this range right in here is going to be honky kind of mid-rangey honky stuff in here and then this is going to be your tss 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 kind of noises is up here and this is what's called a shelf filter you can uh, put it on a band filter and make it a uh, make it more specific to the eq same with your bandwidth that'll uh if you find a frequency that's really maybe you have a your mic is really picking up your S's. You can go in and uh, really make that filter narrow and then find where that S is really coming through in your microphone and then just dip it out in that one frequency and still have good quality audio and just get rid of that one annoying uh, little sipple and spit. So anyway, guys, that's about it for Vegas, I think. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Um, I'll try to get back in the comments section and uh, respond to anybody. So um, if you have any questions about Vegas, DX Tory, uh, webcam stuff, yeah, like I was saying, feel free to leave a question. But anyway, thanks for checking out the video, guys, and I'll talk to you later.